hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome and for today's video it was a requested video one of my subscribers requested to see a video on how to study effectively for pharmacology and pathophysiology or at my school we call it pathopharmacology so if you're interested in learning how to study effectively for pathopharm please stay tuned to start this video off I just want to say thank you to the person that requested this video I greatly appreciate your support and your willingness to comment on videos and yeah if anyone else has any videos that they want to request please leave them down in the comment box and I'll be sure to get to them as soon as I can so depending on your nursing program you take your pathopharmacology in your second year of nursing school, but I know some people take it in their first year. In my program, we took it in our junior year, which is our second year of the program. So I have already completed both semesters of pathopharm, and I did very well in both of them. And I would say that pathopharm has probably been my favorite class so far in nursing school. The one that I actually enjoy learning about, you know, I love pathopharmacology, and my teacher was awesome, so she made things very, very, very easy to understand, and she didn't make anything too difficult. We actually had a pharmacist as our teacher, and I love that because even though she knew a lot about each of the drugs that we were learning, she would only still tailor it down to what NCLEX will ask, and the things that we need to know as nurses, of course, because we're not in pharmacy school. So I love that about her, and I will be sharing with you all some of my tips and tricks and yeah let's get started <laughs> tip number one if you have watched my how to study in nursing school video how i study in nursing school video i will link it up top if you haven't and if you have then you would know that i swear by listening to the lectures especially for patho farm because there's so much taught in that class that is so easy to forget everything if you don't record the lectures so I would highly recommend that. Record the lectures and then listen to them back one by one at your own pace and at your own leisure. That way you can hit the pause button if you need to. You can restart it if you need to. You can go forward if you already understand the topic. You know, just listen to those lectures and they will really help you retain that information. My next tip would be to purchase the farm flashcards off of Amazon or wherever else they sell them. I got mine from Amazon for around 20 something bucks. And they looked like this. Um, so they were also in my other video. So they looked like this. And then the cards, of course, it comes with a whole deck of drug cards. And I really love these because you can just pop them out. And you can just use them, have them with you on the go. Another one of my tips would be to have a binder for patho. You don't necessarily have to have um, the same exact binder that I have. But this is actually my binder from when I took patho farm and I still have all of my stuff in it well some of the stuff this isn't everything of course um, so keep a binder and I would also recommend to take decent notes and also like if your teacher hands out things for study materials definitely look at those like we would do things like crossword puzzles hang out little things like that and although you may think that those are silly and that you don't really need them they are very, very handy, and they're little things that you can study right before a test. You know, that way you can know terms and that you don't forget those terms. So keep things like that and study them. Along with the farm flashcards, I would also recommend getting your own flashcards. And I got this little cute holder from Walmart, and you can get pretty much any color. I got this around last year or maybe a year or two ago, and they have them, and it just holds your flashcards inside. You have little dividers so that you can stick all your flashcards in. And I'm extra, so I did color code, color code them. So as you can see, I have the pink ones, the green, the yellow, and the orange. And yeah, um, you can also write like, let's say you have different sections, you can write that on there. So handy, so convenient, and very, very cheap. That way you can write flashcards. I wouldn't write flashcards for every drug. You can do that, but um, if not every drug, just the ones that you're having a hard time remembering. You know, write the name on the front and then write all the stuff on the back. Or you can do it one by one. You can say, what is the mechanism of action for ibuprofen? You know, one by one and then that way you'll be able to retain that stuff. 
The one disclaimer that I have about making your own flashcards is that they are time consuming. So I know a lot of people in my class would make flashcards for Patho and they would spend so much time making the flashcards and not even have enough time to study them and still end up, you know, not doing as well as they wanted in the end. So I would say if you are going to make flashcards, make them just on the drugs that you're having a hard time understanding. This was also in my um, How I Study for Nursing School video, but it is my drug book. Um, I swear by this drug book, it is very handy, and it has pretty much every drug that you can imagine in it. This is the 2017 version. You can get whatever version you want. You can get the 2018 or whenever you start nursing school, 2019, 2020 any of that get a drug book because this thing will come in handy and even after nursing school i'm sure that i would still use it to just look up some drugs and refer to them whenever i need a refresher on any drug that i may be giving a patient the last tool that i have used for patho farm to study would be my textbook um ours is called this light ours is called patho pharmacology for nurses um, a pathophysiologic approach and yeah I love that textbook it really did help um, I didn't use it for pretty much everything but I would say that I did refer back to it sparingly to be able to um, understand concepts better and be able to look up things that I may not have gotten straight away from the lecture another thing that I would recommend is to look up YouTube videos y'all YouTube would save your life and looking at YouTube videos for patho, you know, whatever subject or whatever drug you have, type it in and just see if someone has a review on it or a review of systems or anything that, any category that you can break it down to in patho. Look up that concept on YouTube, type it in the search bar. I guarantee that there's a video on it and look at that because a lot of times, YouTube has a way, the people that make the YouTube videos have a way of breaking those concepts down. And if anyone has any concept that they want me to break down for them, I will be glad to do that. So please leave it down in the comment box down below and I will get to it as soon as I can. I will break down how I understood it and how I was able to, you know, retain it for Pathopharm test. Other than the main things that I use for Pathopharm, um, the big things that really get you through are listening in class. You know, I record those lectures, so listening to what your teacher's saying, reviewing the PowerPoints, because my teacher was very good at giving us in-depth PowerPoints. Review those, and if you do that, look at the book, study the flashcards, all of that stuff combined, you will be fine. Some people um, say that Pathopharm is hard. I do not believe that, but of course it really just depends on you know, your learning style and what you learn easily. If this is your first video that you have watched of mine, especially my nursing school videos, please refer back to my other nursing school videos because there's a lot of tips and tricks in those videos that can help you that I have not mentioned in this video. And I will link them up top for you all. I'll link the playlist up there so that you can click on that when you're done watching this video and start learning some nursing school hacks and life hacks and that sort of thing. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share it with someone who may be interested or who may need it. Share it with your classmates, share it with your nursing group, share it with anybody that you think would need it. If you are not in nursing school, you just happen to come across this video, share it with a friend who is in nursing school. And please subscribe to my channel and join the family. I'll be glad to have you join the family and grow with us as we continue this journey called life. And also, please hit that notification bell right beside the subscribe button so that you are notified whenever I upload new content. If you want to stay connected with me on my social media, I have a health and fitness Instagram, which is my main Instagram that I use. And I will link that in the video. It is at sincerely.crystal. And yeah, please follow me on there. I'll be glad to get to know you all. Please check out my other videos, even the ones that are non-nursing school related. And let me know what you think. Please give them thumbs ups as well. And just continue to support your girl because I love, 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 love all of you. <laughs> As always, y'all, thank you so, 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 so much for watching this video, and I will see y'all in the next one.